Hey, this is Orin with MathRob.com. Are you wondering how to make um, random uh, item giving something like this? Like, look, I, I could just buy, purchase from this um, vending machine and get random items. If you're interested in doing something like this, this is actually really kind of groundbreaking, life changing, and no coding is necessary for it. So if you stay tuned, I'll show you how to do this and a little bit more and give you some ideas or even pointers on why you would want to use randomizers in your game mode and how it can really change the impact of what you're doing. All right, so if you're interested in doing that, you first got to go into editing mode, right? So you want to get to editing mode and then in the editor, see how I have this set up. I have five different items. They're just the basic items, right? And as you saw, I could click on the vending machine and get one of these items at random. The way that I'm doing this is by using the teleporters. So teleporters are the way that you can randomize things because they are um, the only thing that is really random in GameKit Creative when you set them to be a, in a certain group so if you set all your teleporters in the same group when you go through one teleporter to go to a group B teleporter it'll take you to one of the five that I've, I've already set up you can set up as many teleporters I don't know how many in total but you can set up at least a good a good amount of teleporters to be all in the same group and you could literally teleport to them like that was in my teleporter video but if you set an item to be granted when you reach a certain teleporter, then you'll receive that item and teleport. So when you teleport to a random teleporter, you'll receive that item. That's the whole concept here. I'm setting the vending machine to the teleporter and wiring them together. So when you buy an item, which is actually not going to be an item, you're going to teleport to that teleporter's target. That teleporter's target you have to set to the group of these other ones, right? So these five teleporters are in group B, so I set I set the target to group B um, teleporter. So now I'm just wiring them all up to where if you teleport there, you're gonna be granted that item. If you teleport here, you'll be granted that item. I chose different gadgets here because I'm giving you the idea of imagine a snow brawl or something like this or a just a, a, a brawling game where in the very beginning you can get three items or three gadgets or two gadgets at random so you don't even know which ones you're going to get you know and it's just randomized like that to where you can only get three items and they're going to be at random and uh, I thought it would be a cool idea so you, after that you don't want to just teleport to the item or to, to the teleporter and then you'd be granted the item. I had it set up to where all of the teleporters are in one space. Now look at these settings. These are settings for the vending machine. I set it to where it'll uh, be limited to three stock. All right, so that means they'll be out of stock after you choose uh, three items or you know you, you buy three items. I made it to be free so I didn't have to pay anything for it but you can make it to be paid for if you use a knockout generator to you know pay a certain item or whatever but now look I'm getting I get some random uh, gadgets and now I can use that to uh, battle against my friends and stuff or you know whatever this is groundbreaking in my opinion because it sets up a an idea of like having chance and things like that in game modes now they're all going to be the same probability you know this is a one out of five chance that you'll get an item but you can still kind of hide the rarity within there and having all the teleporters overlapped in front of each other in front of the vending machine gives the appearance that you're purchasing from the vending machine and you're not being teleported anywhere you're just getting a random item that's what makes it really cool and uh what what gives you that, that randomizer effect thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your day guys